I'm Rob Diemer, warehouse manager at Priestley Demolition. I run the warehouse in the back and uh, one of my daily routines is raising and lowering the flag every day. I generally put the flag up at 7 o'clock in the morning. I come into the foyer back here, I'll grab the, the blue bin that we keep the flag in overnight. I'll walk out, uh, first thing I do is unlock the door pull the pin out, take the plate off. Then I have to lower the lanyard to attach the flag tube. And then we attach the flag starting from the top ring. And there are several rings down the, uh, the 15 feet of the flag. And you raise it as you attach the rings and take it up right to the top. I've been at Priestley's for, I believe it's over 10 years. I left for a short period of time. The Priestleys treat, uh, treat their employees very much like family. You can uh, sit down and talk to either one or all three of them at the same time, anytime you feel like it. They, they always listen to the concerns of the employees. They, they're, they're always there willing to help. Any, any employee who needs help, they, they will be there to help. Over the course of the last 20 years, we've seen Priestley Demolition Inc. tackle some very high-profile jobs. It's August 22nd, it's uh, about 4 to 7 in the morning. We started work at the Guelph Line Bridge Demolition last night at approximately midnight. It's uh, 5, 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're at Town Line Road 401. And we've become familiar with Ryan showing the PDI office workers, family and friends who don't get to see these jobs firsthand complex weave of constantly evolving details that need to be addressed when demolishing a building. So now we're just going to hook up the machines and then the cables go tight and showtime. Obviously it's nice having a feather in your cap to say we did Maple Leaf Garden safely. What most of us don't know is how PDI got started. Let's rewind and check out how one of Canada's biggest demolition companies came to be. It all goes back to when Vic was a 12-year-old in North Toronto. His entrepreneurial nature had him owning a grass-cutting and snow-shoveling company while he was still in school. Teacher caught him one day looking out the window and asked him why he was looking out the window. He said, I'm watching my crew work out there. She said, what crew? He says, all those guys on the front lawn, they're working for me. So my dad learned early on in life that he wanted to become an entrepreneur and work for himself. He did landscaping and earth moving and soil removal. And then in 1969, my grandfather and my uncle bought some property up in King Township near Aurora. And my dad moved to Aurora in, I think, 1970. And they started a garden center business. He opened a business in Aurora with his brother called Priestley Brother Garden Center. And they would do landscaping and they would sell stuff for, you know, homes and stuff like that during the spring, summer and fall. And then during the winter, they would sell like snowmobiles. It was kind of like a mixed bag of tricks. Up here on our right is where my dad's first company was. So I just wanted to bring you by here quickly just to keep take a quick peek. This used to be uh, a building that my dad worked out of with his brother. From there, my dad had a company called Midway Disposal. So that started at 
the Bursey Street address, kind of where contracting and demolition were. That was our headquarters up until it's coming up to six years that we've been at Lloyd Town. In 1988, he bought a small demolition company, and I remember when he bought that company. So I would have been 12 at that time. Uh, at that time, he had one demolition crew, and we could expand up to two if we got busy. We tore down, you know, a building at a time, or sometimes two or three farms at a time. But it was a very, uh, very different business. And we also had at that time a lot of earth moving equipment. We had uh, contracts for building roads and putting in sewers and underground utilities and digging ponds. Back then, the big thing was, is you know, everyone worked till Christmas and you know got laid off, and then on the demolition side, everyone worked pretty much all year round. And that was another reason why say you might want to think about leaning towards the demolition market. We couldn't bid the large general contractors, PCL, Alice, Don, Eastern, because they were all unionized. When we went unionized, our market doubled day one. When the new company was formed from Priestly Contracting to Priestly Demolition, I got the very first check and this year is the 20th anniversary. Yeah, we're just going to go do a little tour of, of Aurora and check out the old uh, headquarters. We call it the sardine can because we literally, like, we just kept growing and, like, building rooms on top of rooms. So this is the main headquarters. If you come around here, you can see that used to be our old office building there. This back here, it's Quonset Hut, was the original mechanic shop. And uh, this is where Ryan would come and he would wash down trucks on Saturday mornings. Um, there was a small little office in there with a telephone and all the nudie magazines. And um, that's what uh, Ryan grew up doing. Once Dad got a bit more equipment, a bit more trucks, and he realized the Quonset hut wasn't going to cut it. He built this shop here, and you can see there's like three doors, and then one's a bit higher, and he built that again for the, the larger equipment. This was the entranceway to basically operations, and if you worked here, if you came here on a, at 6 o'clock in the morning to get ready to go to a job site, you came in here, and you opened this door, and you'd go to the, the dispatch counter, and John Phillips would basically give you your instructions for the day. This was our entranceway and this here is the Midway doors and I, I mentioned it before Midway was a disposal company that my dad had. As you can see that sign and those doors are still there and these are still original. See that white building? That was forever our neighbor. Okay his name was Ziggy yeah. and he was like a, a machinist and my dad tried to buy that property for years. Yeah. For years. Um, unfortunately Ziggy did pass away and we thought, okay, at this point, his wife's gonna wanna sell us the property. She wouldn't sell, she wouldn't sell. So that's what really started to push us from finding other places to go because we were just growing out of this place. Maybe two years after we moved, she finally approached him, I'm gonna sell now. He's like, okay, I'll buy it. Even with the addition of Ziggy's lot, PDI had outgrown its Bertsey Street address. Enter the new Lloydtown era. Lloydtown provided more space for the consolidated operations of priestly demolition. Morning, Priestley. When you look at the array of machines that PDI currently has in its arsenal, it's hard to believe that it all began with one lawnmower. Here's an original lawnmower. See, Vic Priestley. I used to spray yellow, then I had a stencil. I put my name on the uh, stencil. That lawnmower we've had for 40 years, that says SP, that'd be Sam Priestley for my dad. That ledger I would have bought 50 years ago. Before weed whackers? Yeah. <laughs> Go along the edge of the sidewalk, yeah. So what was your kind of thought when you first got your machines? Survival. I mean, we were doing whatever we could find to work with. Like and then in the fall, especially in, you know when the winter started to come, we would do cleanup. Okay. Right? And then as the uh, development started, you know, we'd take down farms. And we became known as the barn wreckers. And, uh, the union was always sort of looking at me, but they d didn't bother with the farms, and we started doing the odd industrial building. Our first sort of real demolition job was at, for uh, a parking lot at the hospital. It's called York County now. It's South Lake. It's right, a fancy yeah. Name. yeah. And that's when the union started to bother me. So it, that would have been 72. In 93, I joined the union. Okay. And that's when we really got going. Uh, in demolition because now we could bid on jobs. They pushed and pushed and either I had to get in or get out, so I got in. Did you ever kind of think that you would be a part of the demolition kind of game or? No, I, I always knew I'd be on the edge, but I never, uh, 
never pictured being where we are now. Yeah. yeah. That's for sure. When the crews out in the field are tearing apart the innards of buildings, every sink, faucet, light fixture, and yes, even toilet, is loaded up and shipped away. And where does this stuff go? Right here. Hi, I'm Pauline. Welcome to National Building Supplies. This is where all the stuff comes from, all those buildings you guys demolish, and it gets resold. We sell all the used as well as the new. Um, it's, there's five acres, five buildings here, so uh, lots of property to, for people to come and look at. There's used insulation, for example, there. We're removing all the old insulation off the wall. That's come off of a job site. There's some uh, fire extinguishers that come from the Air Canada Centre. Uh, a lot of doors, windows. That's a big, big seller. Yeah, you just never know what, what's going to show up, <laughs> for sure. So this is like the antique building. Some of the stuff is definitely unique. It's got some history to it and worth some, a little bit of money. There's bottles and stuff that are of, you know, older and... Uh, do you have anybody like from the, like, the movie business ever kind of coming yes. up here? Big time, yeah, they come for props. There's stuff comes out, I didn't even know it's here. As PDI grew and more buildings came down, producing more salvageable materials, National Building Supplies and Stewart Salvage Yard became a huge part of the operation. Well, you're here at Stewart Salvage. This is where we process all the metal from job sites for pre and demolition. Then we ship it out to the mills from here. You just never know what's coming, so it's, it's always interesting, right? Full throttle from, from the time of inception. When Vic bought, they, they were taking down the big water tower in Aurora, and it was coming truck after truck after truck after truck after truck. has been passed to Ryan, and like his dad, he has the business bug. He's motivated to see this company not only grow, but become the first choice for anyone looking to make buildings disappear. Ryan has adapted that and ran with it and will take on anything, so, which is good. Five years old, running around the yard, trying to get into machines so he could be an operator. Told Vic different times, don't get him out of here, he's gonna get run over or something. Maybe. Don't stop, don't stop, Ryan. Hook on during that, pushing it. Keep going, you're doing good, you're doing good. So, Vic's got to be real proud of the two of them because so many family businesses you see the kids take over and it goes in the dumper and this has done nothing but grow. And with the two of them at the helm, I'm sure it's going to do nothing but grow. It's just that way. He's always been driven to do this, to work in this industry, and he loves it and he's great at it. He loved it from day one. I swear to God, he was born on an excavator. I four years old, my mom tells a story. She gets a knock at our, our door, and uh, it's a police officer with my brother and his trike. He's like, ma'am, is this your son? She's like, yes. Well, I just picked him up on the side of Wellington Street, riding his tricycle to find his dad in the city to work. Ryan gets right in there. He loves nothing more than to uh, get out on the job, and get him the machine, and get right in there. And, 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 oh, uh, Vic as well as, uh, you know, was the, I guess the initial start of the company, and Ryan's carrying it on, Ryan and Robin, and uh, it's good to see. But at the end of the day, it's just a job, and you, you know, either you're doing a job or you're not. And then we can move these machines to the side. Now, when we go to the side here, I think what we'll do is we'll just crunch those uh, piers and let that baby drop down. My last name is Priestley, the company name is Priestley, but if I'm not doing my job, trust me, I will hear about it. Ryan and I have been 
very blessed in the sense that his passions are his passions and my passions are my passions and for some reason they just gel together and make one really good passionate team. I think the plan is to try and keep it going on a, on a, on a serious level where we can do serious projects and, and to be able to carry on what we're doing today. My brother's like, we're going to do this, we're going to buy this, we're going to take on this, no, 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 no. And I'm just going, oh my goodness, what we created a monster. But at the end of the day, I support him. And, and at the end of the day, if his vision is growth, then I support that. And, and I will do everything that I am capable of doing or capable of directing or capable of leading to foster that growth. The history of Priestly Demolition is an integral part of what has made the company what it is today. And if 2013 is any indication of things to come, then the wrecking ball will be swinging strong and hard for another 20 years. We're just breaking out a section in the floor behind us. This is our first floor section up here in the penthouse. Uh, we've crushed about a total of 30,000 tons of concrete. The sailors start coming over here at night. The more you take off, the more this baby shakes. So everyone's going to have to really watch each other. If you need to shear in, don't just keep going the hammer. There's a whole pile of people that are watching us, so we have to be on our game 100% of the time. In all total, we've probably got some in the order of five to 6,000 ballasts here that we're gonna sort out. We need to make sure we're all on the same page. Neil will start in the bottom and work our way to the top. Take down the infill here, the first two stories. Then once that process is done, we're gonna start taking the foundation wall and removing the robo off site. Every job has problems and you gotta you know, overcome them the best we can, right? I got a little hard time on the big columns, but other than that, uh, it's a cake. <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep the guys going, get the building down for sure. Sometimes we go above and beyond the call of duty to make sure that it's done, but it's done safely. It's the only straight chair that we have. It's still old school anyway. Oh, I love it. I work in the best company of all. They take very good care of me and the guys. We're going hard. We're still not good enough. We gotta go better, 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 and better. But we're getting there. <laughs> we're using uh, lots of water to keep the dust down, trying to keep everybody happy. Ryan loves this year. So we gotta take good care of it. <laughs> One of the key components in maintaining a successful company is its workforce. Talented people who get the job done, but always with care and consideration for each other. You can have all the machines in the world, but it's the people who are the real stars at PDI. We definitely have very good people. We always seem to find a way to get things done. I think it's very few times where we let somebody down, I think. Generally speaking, for the most part, people like having us around because we add value to the job site. I think that the people are got good skill set, good work ethic, want to work safe, want to go home at the end of the day. I would like to preserve this as a family business and the best demolition company in Ontario or in Canada. That's where I'd like to see it in 20 years. Where do I see it in 20 years? The best demolition company in Canada. Congratulations to Prissy Demolition and Ryan for being there for us. Happy 20th anniversary! Happy 20th anniversary! Happy 20th anniversary, Priestley! Happy 20th anniversary, PDI. Keep up the good work. Happy 20th anniversary, Priestley! Happy anniversary from the Steel Building. Happy 20th anniversary. 
Happy 20th anniversary. From Ottawa! Happy 20th anniversary, Priestley! Woo! Happy 20th anniversary! Happy 20th anniversary, Priestley! Woo! Happy 20th anniversary, Priestley! Happy 20th anniversary, and uh, hopefully another 20 years more. Robin Ryan and Victor have a uh, great 20 years. I'd like to congratulate Vic, Robin, and Ryan. Happy 20th anniversary to the Priestleys. Happy birthday, PDI. Happy 20th, PDI! Back to work, boys. <laughs>